this is gonna be a very special video. For those who may not know, I am the creator of <laughs> this FNAF AU called Freaky Friday, and it's an AU that is based off the two films Freaky Friday. It's basically an alternate universe in the Nights of Freddy's universe following security breach where Monty and Freddy switch bodies due to a freak accident, and they have to live in each other's bodies for an entire week. It was an AU that me and a few friends made back in 2023, and at first it started off as like a silly like little gag comment like, oh my god, Freaky Friday, imagine if they switched bodies. And then I decided to make a comic series of it. I thought it was honestly just going to be like a one-off <laughs> little like one chapter comic that I was just going to give up after a month, but then it, but then I got serious real fast. And here I am today on the anniversary of Freaky Friday. So happy birthday, Freaky Friday. Wow. I can't believe you're a year old. You can form words now, I think. I don't know how babies work. This comic AU was something that, once again, I, I didn't expect to take off, nor was I expecting to take as seriously as most of my previous comic projects. I'm not someone that's really good with motivation or keeping up projects, you know, because sometimes I just drop things very fast. But I'm very proud to say that this is one of the first few comics that I'm like proud of and that I've actually put work and effort into. It's not perfect, that I'm aware of, but like, I'm very proud of what I've accomplished within a year. It's not fully colored, it's not perfectly drawn, but hey, that's mine. I worked very hard on it. Of course, I posted it on Tumblr at first because I was just like, it's Tumblr, Tumblr. Tumblr people are going to eat it up, it's going to be a one-off AU that's going to be talked about for a few months and then dropped off the face of the earth. And then I was like, okay, I could post it on Twitter. That's that's another place I could post it on. And then I was like, I can post it on Webtoon. And then TikTok. TikTok didn't really do so well. Also, people kind of reposted my work. Anyways, and then I posted it on Instagram, which was the very last place because I didn't know how to post it on Instagram because the comic formatting on Instagram sucks ass, but I decided to post it on Reels as of recently. And here we are a year later. I've gained a lot of experience when making this comic. Of course, like I mentioned, I have a f I had a few comic projects, but they didn't go very far because of motivation. But Freaky Friday was something that encouraged me to want to continue the f to work on this because people were actually invested. And, and because it's Finance of Freddy's and it's it's a, it's a gay ship comic, but regardless, I'm actually having fun with this because I like the ideas that I currently have in the back of my brain that you don't know, and it's only for you to find out later. I recently finished, well, sort of finished the scripting and the plotting for the story. It has an ending. I, I'm, I'm pretty much done with the main stuff. I'm just wrapping it up in the script. You see the script? You can't see it. It's blurred for my eyes only. And of course, for those who've, you know, been with me personally along this journey, they've they've seen how much I've worked hard on this and how long I've spent, you know, coming up with ideas or watching me draw and commenting on things. And I have to say I really do appreciate them for being along with me with this and supporting me whether it's just, you know, reading it or just, you know, chilling with me. <laughs> And being very understanding when I'm like in my funks because there are times where I just could not get myself to get up and draw because you know motivation and also school there was like that three month hiatus maybe four month hiatus I was on during like the fall of 2023 and I was like really contemplating it was like a weird season where I was just like do I continue it do I just drop it off I was genuinely thinking like oh well, this is it it's it's dead now because <laughs> it ended on a cliffhanger and i was like this would suck if i stopped at a cliffhanger but i just can't i'm so tired and i have so much schoolwork to do but then i came back very strong and i'm still going despite everything that's happened towards the latter half of 2023 i somehow managed to persevere and i think that's something to be proud of the things i do want to take away with this comic au is of course you know understanding how to make comics. I mean, I already knew how to, but I didn't have anything to really work off of other than my original works. But this comic AU has helped me understand how to format comics, how to make them flow, how to actually write dialogue. I really do like the dialogue. It's really funny. 
and just generally making up plot beats that make sense and generally just writing. I know this is like a weird tidbit to add in, but um, if you guys remember that one FNAF AU with Vincent and Mike Schmidt, those characters, you know, you know the ones I'm talking about with from Robornica. It's crazy to think that almost 10 years ago, wow, that's crazy. Almost 10 years ago, they were, I was, I was looking through those comics and I was like a big fan of Robornica's work. And, you know, I was like, dang, I, I'd be so cool if I could have my own comic AU and it gets popular. And here we are 10 years later. What the fuck happened? <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm not saying Robornica was the reason for this, but they were an inspiration. You know, despite everything problematic that they've done, they were someone that I did enjoy. It was an artist that inspired me. We, I know they're gone, probably. I don't know where they are. But either way, it's kind of wild, honestly. My hope is that Freaky Friday will conclude on a good note. You know, I hope to finish it within this year. I also have plans for future projects that are both FNAF related and non-FNAF related, such as original projects, and I hope to, you know, keep improving and keep working towards whatever goal I have in mind currently. Honestly, I'm just kind of walking. I'm just, I'm just going. I'm chilling. With that note, I hope you all continue to support me and just be along for the ride, I guess. I hope to inspire other people to do similar things as I do because I think that's even cooler if I inspire others. Also, I really get a kick out of, out of seeing people get emotional over my work. Anyways, I'm, um, alright, that's enough for me. Bye-bye. <laughs>